You know, all things considered, uh, first time out against somebody else, we had a lot of a lot of bright spots. Um, you know, I was, I was disappointed in our defense in the first half there, at least the second half of the first half. You know, we kind of just got into a, uh, a, a rut there for whatever reason where we were just trying to outscore them, and that's not who we are. So, you know, I think they, they responded with the message they got at halftime. They came out second half, obviously, the first 10 or so minutes of the second half is, it was Louisville basketball. That's what, that's what we expect. You know, we, we you know, held them to 27% field goal defense in the second half. Um, and, and did a good job. And, and anytime, obviously, you can force 27 turnovers, you're doing something right. But, you know, like I just told the guys, we have a lot to get better at, which is after the first game or first exhibition game, any coach is going to say that. But we also have a really good foundation to build on. You know, we have a lot of talent. Um, you know, we, the most impressive thing to me with our team right now uh, is the way they share the ball. I mean, these guys, nobody's trying to score theirs. They play unselfish. I mean, they really, really pass the ball well. So all things considered, first time out, pretty good. We have a lot to work on, but, you know, overall, pleased with the effort. It, rebounding was, feel like the second it was. It was just our mindset. You know, we, we just were... You know, I think we had some easy, easy success in the first half. They're scoring against them, and so now all of a sudden we're trying to leak out a little bit and just get out on the break and, and try to do all that instead of get a stop, rebound the ball. I mean, there for a minute, for a couple minutes in the first half, it was either they scored or we turned them over. It was one of the two, and, and that's why their field goal percentage was so high. But, um, you know, we responded. I, I was got on our older guys a little bit at halftime, which they knew it was coming, said this is unacceptable. You know, this is not the way we play, and, and they came out and responded in the second half, which was good to see. It was, and that's I've been seeing that for four weeks now. You know, it's with these older guys that they've played together for a while now, and, and even the younger guys. I mean, Darius, I thought came in, did some really good things. Um, you know, but it, it all just starts with Q. I mean, he just he gets us going. Uh, Dang has had a very good mindset as far as getting the ball in the lane, distributing. I mean, um, you know, it's honest had four assists. Uh, Q obviously five assists, and you know the guys are they're just playing unselfish and they're playing for each other, which is great to see. What you think about uh, the game of Honest from Moore tonight with twenty points, ten or eleven shooting? <laughs> I'm always going to be a tougher critic on Honest than most. Um, the play at the end of the first half where he fell asleep and got beat back door for a layup. I mean, he he looked over at me before the guy even laid it in because he knew it was coming. But, uh, you know, it, he did a lot of good things. You know, he's got to rebound the ball better. He's only got one defensive rebound in 27 minutes as a seven-footer. I mean, that's got to change. But he knows it. But, again, you know, it's there's a lot that we got to work on individually and as a group, but all things considered, not too bad. How did you handle do you feel like, I mean, what, you know, it's different being out there for the first time with another opponent? You know, I was nervous. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like I've said before, if I wasn't, I think there would be something wrong with me. But, you know, it was different walking up and down the sidelines. But, you know, it, these guys just make it easy for me. You know, it, I'm just, I tried to just coach the game like I coach in practice. Obviously, I don't have a whistle and I can stop it when I see a mistake. But, um, you know, it's, it's just different. The one thing I did notice is when you're a head coach in those timeouts, man, those things seem like they're about 10 minutes long. You kind of run out of stuff to say after a while. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it, it, was, it was good, though. You know, it's one of many to come. But, uh, you know, it's, it, it was good. I'm glad, it's, I'm glad I got it out of the way and it's under my belt now. What was your thinking on the, the substitution rotation you had? You went with Dwayne and then uh, Malik and then... To be honest, it was just based on the last couple of days in practice. Uh, you know, Joe had earned it. I think playing the way he did in the scrimmage the other day, I, I just I felt like he'd earned a chance. Um, and, and but I do have to say, you know, Darius came in and he played the two a little bit with Joe there for a minute, and he kind of sparked us. I mean, he, Darius, what he needs to understand is he needs to get us going on defense. He needs to come in the game and, and be, you know, a Russ Smith, Peyton Siva type player on defense and just dog the ball. And and I thought he, his attitude was really really good tonight in that regard. I mean, he came in and because when he wants to, you know, he he. Should shouldn't get beat off the bounce by anybody. And, uh, you know, Dwayne obviously has had great practices, even dating back to last year. And he gave us a big lift in the first half by hitting those threes. So, um, you know, it, I'm glad guys, all the guys were able to get in and play some minutes. And, you know, we got a lot to, to build on. He's improved it since last year. There's no question about that. You know, when he came in last year, that wasn't a strength of his. But he's he's worked hard on it. He's improved it. His arc has gotten better. Um, but he, he's just shooting it with confidence. You know, and and it's one of those things where if you make the first one, all of a sudden you're relaxed, and then, you know the next two or three are going in. But again, it's these guys really really understand for a team that's only been together for four weeks that the more you pass the ball, the more shots you get in return, and it's great to see. Did Grayson just be working on being more assertive or? Almost duck in anything. Is that what you want to see from tonight? I mean, he got a little emotional. Get you know, I think a scream after a couple of. Yeah, you know, he. I think it was a little nerves maybe at the beginning. You know, we, the first play of the game, we actually drew up to get to him the ball inside, and I think he got a good look. He just missed it, and then he missed another easy one, and you know, it, that happens. I mean, it, sometimes it's just going to have nights like that. But he responded well. Um, 
you know, he had seven rebounds, had a couple turnovers, travel, offensive foul, that kind of stuff. But, um, you know, he's just he, he's going to be a great player for us this year, there's no doubt. Hey, is there anything you put your finger on when you go seven and ten from three-point range in the first half and 0 for 11? No, I mean, as long as they're all good looks, you know, Jordan, I told Jordan in the timeout, which I don't need to tell him, I said, keep shooting it, you know, you're open, just keep shooting the ball. Lance missed a couple open ones. I mean, all those guys have confidence, though. And, you know, you, Malik missed a couple, Joe missed a wide open one. As long as they're good shots, I'm fine with them just, I, I don't care if they go 0 for 50. I mean, as long as they're good shots, I want them to keep taking them. You know, he did some good things. Where he and Lance both have to get better is just learning our defense. You know, they have a... It's a high school habit because you don't want to get in foul trouble. Is when somebody drives at you, you kind of slide to the side and get out of the way. And it's just something we got to work on, you know, it, especially with the way they've changed the rule last year where if you're a big guy and somebody drives into you, if you leave your feet and you keep your arms vertical, you're and they, you're entitled to that area and that cylinder as well. So it's just something we got to work on. But, you know, the effort's always there um, with all those guys. You know, it's just just got to get better each each day, one day at a time. Spot you took in the court, uh, just taking a knee right there in front of the bench. Is that what you think you're going to stay? Is that where you're going to be? <laughs> well, I, I, you know, I try to get down in like a catcher position, catcher's position a couple of times. I just can't do that. My knee's starting too bad. So I just, you know, I told I told Vinny to make sure there was a towel there for me to sit on. But um, you know, it's yeah, it's all just part of feeling this whole thing out. You know, and it's just it's just easier for me to get down on one knee. But the problem is, is sometimes I get too close to the sideline, and here comes the ref, and I don't want to trip him. But uh, now nah, it's again, it's it's going to be a little bit of a, a feel out process here for me as well. How much is, how big is it to have this take now and in between now and Bellerman? How much do you expect them to improve because you've got to show them something against somebody else? No question. Yeah, you know, there's going to be a lot to there's going to be a lot of good stuff in this tape, but there's going to be a, a lot to learn from. Uh, but the good news is, is they're willing to learn. You know, yesterday in practice, I challenged them a little bit defensively, and and they responded in practice. And I thought, at least for the first 10, 12 minutes of the, of the first half tonight, we were pretty good. We just had a lull there where we let them get hot, but they responded again at halftime. And you know, the good thing about playing this team and playing Bellerman, which is why we usually do it, is they're two completely different styles. You know, this team was a lot off the bounce, penetration, isolation, and Bellerman, as we all know, is one of the best passing and, and shooting teams in Division Two, if not the best. So um, it's two completely different styles, and we got a lot to work on, but um, you know, we've got to take the next six days and get better. <laughs> no, I just, you know, I just told him, look, have one out there. Uh, but then I found myself way up by even Bob and Paul on the radio. So, I mean, I'm sure people were hearing me on the radio because I was knelt down all the way up there. But, um, you know, it's just pick and choose my spots. You know, I'm not going to be a guy who's up on the sideline walking up and down the entire time. But, uh, you know, just, just got to kind of feel it out as I go. Who was the most vocal of your assistants tonight? You know, Greg's very vocal in game from a, a coaching standpoint because that's just his personality, and that's why I love him. That's why he's going to be great. You know, Trent was – he'll say things when he needs to, but he's also in my ear. I mean, he's he's – He's obviously helping coach the team, but he's helping coach me a little bit too, and that's why I hired him. I mean, he's got 17 years of head coaching experience, so you know it's invaluable. But you know, all things considered, from players aside, you know, even the coaching standpoint, um, you know, even in timeouts, it's funny. Yesterday, at the end of practice, we actually practiced the timeout thing, where I had Coach G sit on the end of the bench, run out, and one of the players was like, "Do we stand up?" on the bench when the horn rings and I go, no, I said, unless you want to get tackled by Coach G with three chairs, you better stay seated. So. <laughs> Anything else? Thank you guys.